Coming up next, a light heavyweight matchup between Sugar Rashad Evans and John Jones. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones's resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of your career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Well, ground and pound is a true art form. And whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! And now is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 24 wins, 8 losses, and 1 draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Sugar Rashad Evans. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Are you ready? So, all right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, we have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how well he can get up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about it. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'll tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Now he's got the Muay Thai clock. Takes him down. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into the ball, maybe he would have secured the top position. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Wow, 
puts his mouth. Look for the wrist. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some thrills in this ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking armbar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by a tap out, John Jones! Jones! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. and. They put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.